That's right. Monday Motivation is back. I hope that all of you are just as excited as I am for this season of Monday Motivation. I want to take some time now to just thank everyone that has followed me throughout the years. This really just started out with my passion for writing, and God has really transformed it into a strong ministry to share His Word with other people. These motivations go out to almost 100 people via email, as well as being posted on social media and my blog. So feel free to share and invite others. We all need a little motivation in our lives, especially on a Monday. This year I've decided to take a more themed approach. Each month we'll focus on a different theme and start with a video to introduce that theme. The remaining motivations of the month will be in the more traditional format that you're used to. So without further ado, let's get started with September. In Bob Benson's book, See You at the House, he recounts the story of a friend who had a heart attack. At first, it didn't seem like the man would live, but eventually, he would recover. Months later, Bob asked him, Well, how did you like your heart attack? Would you do it again? Never. Would you recommend it? Definitely not. Does your life mean more to you now than it did before? Well, yes. You have a new compassion for people and a deeper understanding and sympathy. Yes. You know the Lord in a deeper, richer fellowship than you had ever realized could be possible. I sure do. The moral of the story is that sometimes growth is the result of pain, discomfort, and suffering. If you find yourself in a season of struggle, understand that growth is waiting on the other side. Maybe God is using the situation to increase your trust in Him. Perhaps God is using the situation to strengthen your dependence on Him, to help you become fully reliant on His grace and mercy, instead of thinking you can handle it on your own. Or maybe God is using the situation to manifest Christ's likeness. He often uses suffering to prune and sift what doesn't belong in our lives. Think back to the last time you struggled. Remember how God brought you through. He hasn't changed. He is faithful, and will do it again. You just have to trust Him. Regardless of how God is working in your situation, remember that He will always sustain us and provide exactly what we need. 2 Corinthians 12.10 reminds us, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. 